plugin of the week is the Plugin Alliance Black Box HG2. Uh, the Black Box uh, Analog Design HG2 is an actual boutique hardware uh, device that is basically a tube saturation hardware piece. Uh, really super high-end Class A components. And what this is, is it gives you two basic saturation circuits. You get a pentode circuit and a triode circuit. And then uh, what you could do is you can run a parallel saturation circuit, uh, which runs independent of the pentode circuit on this end. And so there's a variety of features. So let's kind of zoom in and kind of go over what the basics of it are. So aside from the toolbar and the bypass that's built in with the plugin alliance, you get the ABCD stuff, copy paste reset, all of that sort of stuff. And you get a series of features, which we're going to get into here uh, in a little bit. Um, well, actually, one of them is just a mix control. So you have a wet dry on the mix. The other is an input output level. So what this does is it sets the input output for all the saturation because uh, you could set a separate saturation level for the pentode and a separate one for the triode and then another parallel saturation level and they don't really uh, actually the pentode feeds into the triode so uh, those affect each other but this does not affect the other uh, whereas when you set the input level you can set the overall saturation uh, for everything uh, going through the other way to do it is to work with the density control and what this does is it uh, simultaneously takes down the output when it raises the input and that allows you to drive the components more or less so you can go positive or negative uh, percentage wise on that to add a little bit more gain uh, and then there's a calibration control and this is an internal calibration that's actually built inside so it's not ac accessible on the hardware um, immediately without opening up the uh, the case for the unit and uh, this allows you to uh, calibrate the equalization curve, dark, normal, or bright. Uh, and so I'll show you that. And that works most effectively if you're trying to bring in some body or some air into something working with the mix control. On this end, you have uh, an on-off switch. And this works basically uh, functions the same as the, um, uh, as the bypass that's on the toolbar. So uh, you can work with it on that end. Uh, there's also a bypass on this end, and uh, this bypasses um, the saturation components, but you're still getting something when you go through. At least I'm hearing that. I can, didn't uh, get an exact read on what that is in the manual. Uh, that's not clear. Um, when you work with it, though, you can you start with a basic uh, pentode uh, setting here and a triode setting here that's in the middle, you can uh, bring that uh, section in and out, the pentode section in and out, uh, and then you have an alternate tube for the parallel saturation circuit. So this parallel saturation circuit, essentially the way that it runs is that you actually have um, an equalization curve uh, that you can put into this parallel saturation circuit. So you can give it a little more low-end energy, a little high-end, or flat across the frequency spectrum. So all of these things um, uh, kind of all you know, pretty much work together. So uh, you got all of that in line, and then you got the triode circuit. So this will give you a little bit of a warmer, uh, even harmonic kind of distortion. This will give you a little bit more of an edgy kind of distortion. And then they also have added in a feature here, an air with an amount control. So this gives you like a saturation that's like around the 10K area that allows you to add everything in. And then you have an output control that's on the very back end of everything that's going on. So this allows you to... Um, uh, to control the overall output level if you're driving more saturation. So let's start by running it through and then just seeing what it stands like on its own, just like the initial um, thing that you get. Now you could use this on, I'm going to use this or demonstrate this on a mix. I may isolate some different components around it, but essentially it'll be on a full mix. And then um, we'll, we'll kind of work with it, maybe play around with some of the parallel stuff. But you could also use it on individual tracks. So uh, let's have a go here. And... Uh... <laughs> It's a nightmare, who we are Don't have a manual, but together we can use star We are standing, just feet apart Not recognizing the reflection of a superstar So you hear a little when something different there So it's giving you something yeah. with this bypass to still give you some circuit Here is like 
where I'm getting that extra gain here is is on this sat the parallel saturation circuit. You can hear like, like this kind of like a warm, edgy kind of uh, warm, that a warmth that's brought in with the pentode circuit, uh, a little bit more um, musical overall. And um, now we can play. Let's go over to the triode circuit just to kind of add a little bit of that, just so you can hear the difference. I'll put that back where it was. <laughs> Don't have a manual, but together we can use star. Add a little size there. We are standing, just feet apart. Not recognizing the reflection of a superstar. When your legs start to give up on you, still run the race. Yeah, it's just what we have to do to just. You have that, you can hear how this adds like a nice air to it. There's also a separate air control here, which allows you to uh, bring in a little bit more of that. Really great for vocals and things like that. It's enlightening who we are. Don't have a manual, but together we can use star. We are standing just feet apart. Not recognizing the reflection of a superstar When your legs start to give up on you still run the race so it, depending on you know like the track and everything like uh with those uh backgrounds are have a lot of air on them so this that kind of exaggerates that a little bit you know from what's there already but that's also like a very cool uh way to kind of give a little bit of an extra edge onto everything now let's run a little bit with the parallel saturation circuit this, this will give you more gain yeah it's in that minute Together we can use star. We are standing, just feet apart, not recognizing the reflection of a superstar. You get edgier too. When your legs start to give up on you, still run the race. Yeah, it's just what. What you get with the alt tube is you get a secondary tube that's that's uh, basically calibrated differently or biased differently, so it gives you a little bit of a. a um, an edgier, more overdriven uh, kind of sound. Fully has a 12 AX7, so that. Yeah, it's enlightening who we are. Don't have a manual, but together we can use star. Bring it back to the earth here. Standing, just feet apart. Not recognizing the reflection of a superstar. When your legs start to give up on you, still run the race. Yeah, it's just what we have to do to just claim the fame. So there's, there's also an equalization. focus on individual instruments. This can sometimes work better in parallel. Where you're trying to bring in a particular characteristic and this works with the uh, parallel saturation circuit um, that you have here. So, uh, and then you work that with the mix control. One of the other cool things uh, with this, uh, as I mentioned before, the input control allows you to overdrive all the components. 
uh, saturation stages together simultaneously. And the density control also does a similar thing, but it actually uh, calibrates the output down as well. So this is a this is a uh, a software only feature. When your legs start to give up, on you still run the race. Yeah, it's just what we have to do to just claim the fame. allows you to, well, they call it a density control because as you start to drive it more, you start to get more warmth. You can feel the body kind of coming in and digging in as you kind of go through this. So uh, there's, there's uh, loads on there. Um, oh, that was part of the problem there. I left that on uh, uh, with this parallel saturation circuit. <laughs> should hear is like an openness and a depth they said well in in this particular situation and if you're working with an individual track a bass a guitar vocals then you can drive it distort it uh kind of play with it more so it gives you actually quite a lot of tonal flexibility if you really dive into all of the different things and get into the character of all the settings and then uh the ability to kind of mix them all together including the air uh, which is just really sweet on vocals and stuff like that um and uh you know it's a very powerful tool so it's it's a good one great emulation of an actual hardware piece uh, a boutique piece uh, called the black box analog uh, designs uh hg2 and uh expertly modeled uh by uh, the plugin alliance uh this is a really good one and uh definitely one that's uh, worth having in the plugin collection and therefore it is zoom out uh the plugin of the week <laughs> 